<laughs> Hello and happy Valentine's Day. She keeps getting in my way. <laughs> Hi, We're going to do happy Valentine's Day. A real throwback project today. This is just going to be really fun. And there's a story behind why we're doing this. But I decided, you know, this is kind of story day because this is going to be a really, really quick and easy project. So this is going to be a chatting. We'd love to hear any of your Valentine stories. We're doing this a day early. Yes, because our grandkids and our daughter are coming. Um, but we have a story to tell about jewelry making, getting Tim involved in this. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so as we talk about other halves, um, okay. Oh, I love this. I lo love when you guys make, I, I make uh, Valentine treat holders for the three little boys next door. How fun is that? I, I just think, you know, when I think of like little kids and older people, all this, anytime we include people in our lives, and I just think it's very awesome for kids to have other People care about them. That is just really fun. Uh, Luann is on here. She just she's at the airport. She just flew back from here, so we spent some time with her. We're having fun meeting some of you. And I did put on the thing. We're in Gilbert for the next two mornings. We are meeting. We're going to be at Starbucks. One here in Gilbert. I I put it in the comment thing. And then the next morning we're going to be in Sant Santan Santan Mall, whatever that is. Both the Starbucks, if any of you are in the area, next week we're going to be over by um, Sun City West, so we'll put up a time for there. And then we're also going to be in Tucson and San Antonio, so um, it'll be fun. We love to meet people along the way, so that is that is awesome. Okay, so back to jewelry. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. You too. Can I, can I get a little bit more? Yeah, do you, want, do you want a little more? A little more, yes. You want, yeah, you want a little more. Yeah, yeah it is. All about Tim. So no, it's about <laughs> us. So we came here. I have a business retreat, and that's one of the reasons we come to Phoenix. And one of the gifts, so we were, we were each given um, a bracelet, the participants. And mine says goals. They all had different words on them, and the people putting on the retreat made these, which was really fun. So when we went to the Mr. and Mrs. Roper party, <laughs> I wore my house coat, my <laughs> bathrobe, yep. My bathrobe. Easiest yep. costume ever. <laughs> they said we could go make more bracelets in the back room. And Tim, and Tim did that. He disappeared. He disappeared. Everybody Where said, Where's Tim? He? And I said, I don't know. And so let's show you what it did. Mine says goals, which totally fits me. I mean, just random. I mean, that's so perfect. So Tim did a bracelet. I'm going to put it down here so maybe they can see it. Let's see if anyone can read this. Uh, here's you have to kind of look. Uh, uh, let's see. There's goals. Okay, let's put yours on here. Okay, and then see. Can anyone read that? <laughs> let's see if anyone can actually read it on here. Let's see. <laughs> okay, it might be a little hard to read on here. Wingman, is that perfect? So here we have the goal setter and my wingman. And I thought, I am. That is so cool. I said, that is a great story about our relationship and the, and the roles we play in this business <laughs> that we both love. So <laughs> anyway. Um, and I was given this name by one of the, the daughters of Sarah. Yeah. And we were in Thailand. She had mentioned to Tim that, oh, Tim, you're like the wingman. So anyway, so this is our and little Valentine's stuck. memory. So I just think that that's just pretty fun. So that is one story. So we should we tell a couple more stories so we don't yeah. have to? Okay. Uh, oh, by the way. Why don't you switch? Oh, I'll, I'll switch to us. To I meant <laughs> this, this is the host code. Um, Tim's lovely, lo lovely writing there. And... And on the other side. And we are available. I did even put our phone number in the, uh, over in Facebook, which just let me know. We can always message you here if you want to reach us. So um, what we're doing today, actually. We're telling stories. I was, I've got one. Oh, what's your story? He's always, he's always got well, a story or 10. <laughs> it's, I was going to get engaged to Karen, give her a diamond. Mm -hmm. on Valentine's Day 50 years ago. I got too excited, too excited. So we got engaged on February 12th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we always celebrate. And so this year I was just, it was all about being 50 years after getting engaged. So he's celebrating everything. That's what I Tim am. does. He celebrates but. everything. 
<laughs> what we forgot was our our grandson's golden birthday. Can you believe that? Which we is forgot February twelfth. Uh, so yeah. Tim, sometimes it is really all about you. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm known for it, forgetting. Tim is not known for forgetting. He remembers but, everyone's birthdays. But you, I guess you weren't hanging out on Facebook. Many. <laughs> uh, so, sorry, sorry, Hank. <laughs> We'll make it up to him. So yes, Tim loves stories. So there's a story behind why we're making these. I think, is this just the cutest little thing? Um, someone asked over in the back porch stampers recently, and this is so funny because somebody also asked me in person, actually the one stamping party I do each year at Kathy, somebody brought over one of these and said, oh, do you guys know how to make this? she had gotten from somewhere and someone in the back for stampers had also shown a picture and then people are saying oh who knows how to make those here's the funny part this is one of the very first things i learned how to make back in 1996 when i became a demonstrator and i love that because it just shows how things a good idea is a good idea forever <laughs> and so it just gotten us thinking with all these different things we're doing a throwback party for the all good cards club uh, it's only $15 to come join us. So I did a week from Tuesday. Is that back when you were in your 40s? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, our youngest child was eight. I remember that. So I was probably about four. <laughs> I know. Isn't that just wild when you think about that? Um, but I started back in 1996. And I thought the thing that would be really fun is we're going to do a throwback party. And we're going to do things that I did at my very first party. So this is an extra. This will be in there. It's just an extra little freebie because I like to do something that leads into what we're doing. But this isn't one of the main things. I remember clearly what I did on those first parties. And of course, some things we don't have anymore. Some we do. So we'll adapt them. Um, and then we're also, in addition to that, so because we're celebrating any old time thing, it's also gonna be a costume party. So we're gonna be Mr. and Mrs. Roper that evening. We're gonna do an extra Zoom. We are. And we're gonna have drawings. We don't usually do that in the Old Good Cards Club, but because it's a party, we're gonna have drawings, both for posting what you make out of the things we do. Also, if you just wear a costume, and a costume could be a t-shirt with, you know, I've got a peace symbol on this. This is from my uh, personal shopper, you know. So that, that's a good throwback. A costume could be a, a band that you listen to. And we don't care what era. You can wear a poodle skirt. What we just my, thought this would be. Um, what does my shirt have on it? A sea turtle from Hawaii. Tortoise, yeah. Yeah. It is. So cool. So, you know, we're really, but we thought this would be a fun opportunity to just hang out and get to know each other. So the three lives will be during the day. And then early evening, we're having a Zoom party with the costumes. But anyway, so I just think this will be fun. And we're going to look at all these old ideas. So what I was thinking about this, oh, Joan, that's cool. She met her husband on a blind date 50 years ago. <laughs> How cool is that? So to give you an idea of what the All Good Cards Club, and it's kind of like card play. So our last card play retreat, one of the questions, because we always have questions going the whole time, because it's all about getting to know each other. Uh, but... So the question was, what is the, what is the oldest crafting tool you own? There were a lot of great answers. I just picked some of the Stampin' Up! ones because it's fitting what we're doing right now. There were so many clever, fun answers. But Now, you just need to pay attention if people are putting their stories down. Uh -huh. you, have to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you have to keep up with them because I can't. Okay, well, and I have to come back afterwards and read them. But these are some. So see, see what you remember. This is kind of seeing who goes way back and who doesn't. But Brayer, which finally returned in a new style. Crimper, stud setter, the black rubber stamps before Stampin' Up! made their own. That was before my time. Wooden stamps, corner rounder, decorative scissors, corrugator, wheels. Who remembers the wheels? Oh, I just had a whole box of wheels. Brass stencils and stylus. Light box, the guillotine paper cutter, the stamp a jig, and boy, I would like mine now. The circle cutter with exacto knives. How cool is that? So these were some of the Stampin' Up tools from back then, most of which we don't have now. But then I had to read you a couple of comments. Diane had said, "I'm interested to see if anyone mentions something I don't have. My craft room is a museum." <laughs> is that just hilarious? And then I love Linda's comment who said, my crafting tools are all new. I just started seven months ago. And I thought that is so cool too, because we're all at different places in what we've done with this. And some of you crafted years ago, and now you've rediscovered it as you've done in your life. And I love that we have brand new crafters. And then to end with this one, Barbara said, I can't really compete on this one. I was introduced to card making at age 80. So I've only been active the last 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> have I ever advanced over the years? Okay, and I just That's have to wonderful. do a shout out to Barbara. I love that comment. 
And I said, kudos to advancing on many levels that we can keep advancing in years because we have no choice. We can still be advancing in skills. I thought that was, and we can still do these thoughtful, encouraging things to the people in our lives. So I just love it. So that was just to give you a flavor of the kind of things that go on back there. So, oh yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Roper, that's the Three's Company TV show, which we have never seen. Uh, they I, were showing it on the, I did you watch I've, part of it at the party? I've seen like one or two issues. Uh, right. One or two issues? issues you yeah. <laughs> Magazines. And what was really interesting was that um, they had them on the big screen there. And then somebody put in the thing that the first and second, the first and second name, the first names of Mr. and Mrs. Roper. I didn't even know they had first names. So I'm going to have to watch it sometime. <laughs> Sheila still has some of the wheels and she still uses them sometimes. <laughs> We'd roll, uh, roll, roll her bags all the time. So anyway, we're going to have a good time with all these throwback stories and that projects. <laughs> we'll see who's dating. So whether you have been stamping a long time, like I have, I started in 1996. I actually got the starter kit having never stamped. I um, just needed something to do a little part-time well, because Tim Jutt's job had just suddenly ended. And uh, look where we are now. It's just kind of an interesting journey, but I love... Um, Can I tell a story about Suzanne Summers? <laughs> I'm not sure it has anything to do with this. <laughs> oh, but that she's from Three's Company. Oh, the see blonde, what I know? The I don't <laughs> See, but I know, I don't even know that. Guys. I worked, <laughs> pretty I worked for a, an adolescent chemical dependency program in Minneapolis. And we were hired to open a treatment center in Dallas, Texas. And so we did. And for a big open house, Suzanne Summers was our featured speaker. And I was her handler. Oh, so very cool. See, and I didn't even get the connection. I thought Jim was just way off in left field. So um, I'm never in left field. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, that, I mean, that's pretty fun. Oh, a bunch of you have, but you think all the things that were listed in that comment. So I think, isn't this fun? I just think this is just so fun. So that's why we're back to doing what we're doing today. So I thought, well, this would just be a perfect little uh, sneak peek of the kinds of things we're going to do there. So, okay, let's bring this down. Um, so there is a comment on that. We're calling it back to the future, back to the future of card making, <laughs> blast from the past. So today we're going to use this new paper. So, you, and I'm going to show you some out of some other papers too, but I just thought we might as well highlight one of the new papers and we have these in three different sizes. So what I love about this, do you know, you need no adhesive, you don't need anything and your square can be any size. You could do a whole 12 by 12. Uh, so we're just going to happen. We're just going to do three sizes. The first thing I wanted to look at the paper. So you guys know that I fussy cut. I do a lot of fussy cutting. So I have fussy cut a bunch from the, these papers. And then I'm using them on cards, of course. So we have that. And then the flip side would be this one. So those are two. Ooh, and I'm working on some cards right now with this. Look at this stunning, stunning paper. The peonies or what are those? Um, someone else. Uh, the zinnias. The mm. zinnia. I was just going to say someone else else to tell us. And I thought, wait, it's called zinnias. <laughs> so I guess they're zinnias. I should get that one. <laughs> Joan said she's never seen the diaper fold of paper, but she's folded many cloths over cloth diapers over the year. That is oh, hilarious. Right. We we use cloth diapers, and in our day and age, we that was unusual. <laughs> I think we were one of the last people to still use cloth, but we use cloth the whole time. <laughs> and then this is the paper I happen to be using today. And um, part of the, I'll, I'll tell you why we're using this one today. I'm using these, making these for a bunch of cards. I need these for fussy cutting. So I had to go through and see, okay, what don't I have a plan for right now? And that was this. <laughs> and then we have this, which is also, I didn't have a plan for, but that looked a little That'd be pretty though, but they're very similar. And, and then we have these. And I was using those on a card with this background. Lori made a bunch of diaper golf, golf Valentine's Day cards. Okay. Sue, you used cloth diapers on your kids 40 years ago. Yeah, but we were in the minority back then. So just kind of fun. Uh and then these also, I fussy cut out. So I guess that one would be from here. I also, 
This is not hard to fussy cut this paper. So of course I had to save these two for fussy cutting. Oh, I like that on the back. So this is the paper we're highlighting. And after we make a few of these, I'm going to show some others made of other paper. So let us start here. And Tim, we're going to make one at this. Uh, we're going to, we'll make one. Well, I was going to make one at the same time, but let us, let me just make one first and then we'll make them out of these. Okay. Okay. So we're starting with the six by six and that's what I put out because we all have six by six papers, you know, and if you get paper shares, you might have them. I always have some paper cut and a lot of the smaller paper packs. So what I think is really cool with this, uh, that glue up a cock. Oh, that's just, <laughs> I know those diapers and those pins. We adopted our youngest child when she was two and she was still in diapers. So we just got a diaper service. By then we'd given away all of our cloth diapers, but we only needed it for like two months. <laughs> so it was just perfect. <laughs> but I thought even then we just did it. So I am just crossing, I'm taking my square. This is where you can see it's not gonna matter what square. The reason I'm showing one first is for those of you who care, I don't care. I like to just do things visually. Are you saying some don't? Well, if you, perfection. I see. You know, I, I'm trying to, um, this is going to cross over you, oh, like this. You can just see I'm going to make a little diaper here and then fold this down. But here's going to be my little diaper. This goes somewhere kind of halfway, but if this is six inches, I typically have this go about two and three quarter. No, three, uh, it must be three and a quarter. I'm not doing this standing up. So somewhere around three to three and a quarter. Cause you want to be, yeah, three and a quarter is kind of what I was doing if I were caring. I'm just going to show you it doesn't really matter. So the, the signal today isn't as good as it was. Yeah, we're having a little bit of issues. So, so I hope this. There's some buffering that goes on with this. So. so I'm hoping this will be okay. But do you see how I just crossed this over? Oh, see, nothing matters here. That's a little bit over the thing, but it won't matter. Because this will just come back over this. Here's my little pouch, <coughs> and I'm going to flip the top down. Hmm. How so, cool is that? So simple. Yes, I think that's fine. Now, if I put something in here, now here it might feel a little loose, but once we put something in here, like candy or something, it's not going to matter. If you want it held on, you can use a little snail, you can use a little glue dots. Okay, so now we're just we're going to do everything just visually. So we're going to make one together. I'm going to give you a six-inch piece. Okay. And I'm going to use, I better measure it and see what size I decided on. A five inch. So I have a five inch piece. So we're going to make these three that we did before. So, yeah. So we're going to, and Tim, I forgot the. Am I supposed to do something? Yep. Uh, just make a fold like this. I. Bone folder? Forgot the bone folders. So we'll do this other. The cloth diapers that Deb said that she had, she used as birth, burp cloths in 1994. Oh, fun. <laughs> Burlap? <laughs> oh, and Sue has saved a couple of uses dust rags. Perfect. Oh, that's great. So this is our first step. And then you can see how we're just going to fold this over. So we're looking visually to just kind of have this be straight. So that's why we're just going to go visually. Once I did a bunch of these for an event and I actually made a little um, cardboard thing in here so people could help me and we all wrapped it, but you know, it was easier to go visually and this isn't something people need to keep and have perfect. So, okay. Oh, I better, I better do what you're doing. That? That's good. And then you're going to bring the other one over to meet it on the other side. I did not put down that fabulous glass mat today because we don't need a thing today. Just think of this. We don't really need anything, so we just have the table. But keep in mind, you can get that or $30 extra in the starter kit if you Whoa, want to get it just for this month. Good. Isn't that cool? And look at these side by side. They're just different. And then we're just going to bring the flap down. Now, if I wanted to leave it like this, you could always do that. But, you know, but otherwise, you just oh, bring no. the flap down. There's not enough contrast. And how cute is that? So these are our larger two sizes. And then you can see, I Look just took, that. I took, let's see here. Why don't you pick a flower to put in the front? 
what would you like there? That. Isn't that fun? I, I just think that is really cool. Let's see. I'll I think one of these is smaller. So I'll, uh, oh, but that's even kind of big. I need smaller ones for mine, but you can pick one for yours there. Oh, okay. I used on the little tiny one I'm going to do next. This is flower from the same paper too. It's the tiniest flower. And on this one, I is smaller than this. I guess if I were to put this on, um, okay, so here's what I do. As long as we're here, do I have a scissors? I think my scissors is over on the other thing here. So who's making these? Um, Deb, Deb says number four in her family, her baby brother got disposable diapers. <laughs> I know, that's so much. it is just so funny. Here's what I'm gonna do in mine because this is too big. You're gonna pick one of these to put on yours. Okay. And since this is too big, I'm just going to cut up the leaves. So we're gonna, it, it's just a little wasteful that I did all the other. But, and then here's your thing to put those on. Hmm. And now fussy cutting, remember the trick with fussy cutting? I have my elbows right on the table here or wherever they're resting and I am moving my paper. I am, do you see how my scissors stay still? I'm just moving my paper. And other than that, it doesn't really matter. So these are really easy. Where do the leaves go on this? wherever you want them to go. I know. So it doesn't matter. That they can go off to the side. They can go down below. Uh, and on mine, I'm just going to put one on the front here because now this will be. And on mine, I'm going to want this to be closed. Well, no, I'm not because once I put my, once I put my little thing in here. So we'll just take this one out of here. And I'm going to put it in here. And look at it, just, it stays closed then. It is just totally good. How did you get it to stick on? You didn't get it. Oh, right here. Oh. Um, Colleen says she made a bunch of these for Valentine's dinner with friends last night. I love it. Do you have a picture of what you made? If you have a picture, um, go put them over in the back porch stampers. Because this is the this is the challenge this week is to make some of these for anything that you want. So um so I think this is kind of fun. But look how easy these are. And this is, of course, another fun, easy project to do with kids. They're so easy. Tim can do it. And they'd be fun birthday party favors, any Oops. little gifty things. <laughs> yep. Okay. Put yours on, and he's going to put his on. And we have another set. And meanwhile, I'm going to do the tiniest one, which is four inches. I'll quickly do this, and then we'll do two more. So again, I am just going here, and I just love that we need absolutely nothing. This is a fun thing to have on hand, too, if you have some kids to entertain. I was just thinking of that. This would be something mm -hmm. to teach the kids this weekend, because I didn't pack things um, and bring things, because I wasn't, you know, it's not necessarily crafty. But if you just have some paper on hand, they can still have fun just making stuff like this once they start playing. And look how easy that is. Quick and easy. Can you hand me a chocolate, please? Um, yes, but I have to take one out of here. No, okay. You have to split these. That's right. Now, this one I put in something smaller. I still use this. I just made sure I took the bottom, scrunch it up like this. But there's all kinds of smaller things you could put in here. So you could make these any size you wanted. I, I made them 12 by 12 and put in craft supplies for a crafter, uh, which is really a fun way to do it. Um, if anyone wanted to see a 12 by 12, we could. But then I thought we would at least do, let's do two more here. And then I had some to show. Oh, I made some out of the val some Valentine's ones out of the celebration paper. There should be one more little one floating around. Oh, here it is. Okay. So here are three done with the paper that has the gold. This is one of the free choices. See, the hearts are all kind of scattered, but it doesn't matter. And I just think that ends up being really cute too. Uh, Margaret says she's making these for her granddaughters for later today. Oh, yes. And this is uh, the most adored. This is, I think that's what this is. Yes. And it's one of the free choices. Isn't that just perfect? Um, in fact, I will get one. I think we should do it 12 by 12 while we're here. Okay. Because it's so much diff more difficult for us to come back. I'm going to have you do, this is a seven by seven, and I'm going to hang on one second. Now we'll get a 12 by 12. Hammers on. <laughs> Looks like I'm a gold miner. Eighteen forty-nine. 
I was born in 1949, 100 years after the gold rush. Okay. So Tim is doing seven by seven and you're going to walk us through how to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I remember. Yeah. That's okay. We're all here to help you. <laughs> I don't even remember now. Darlene did tons of these for her grandson's baby shower. Now, oh, Barb's going to make these for Meals on Wheels people. Oh. Now, do you guys see in the, it doesn't matter which. I know, but where do you do? How do you? Uh, which way do you fold it? You fold it in half. Oh, half. But not that way in half. There's another way you can fold that triangle half. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I think, you know, I just thought of that, like with the grandkids. And I think, you know, when you know some simple, fun little craft things, it's just easy to entertain people for a while to show. But I, if you're reading all these comments, it is so fun to hear how many people have been doing this. So this is how we're going to be chocolate? spending the um, chocolate is good. for Sure. I, uh, this is what we'll be doing for <laughs> all good cards club, these throwback things, which I think is just hilarious. Okay, now you're going to make your diaper fold like this. Oh, that's right. Okay, so you're going to cross that over. And while he is doing that, I'm going to show, this is from the tools paper. This is another one. How cool would this be to put in? They're not listening to you because they're really, they're totally, <laughs> really looking at what I'm But doing. any of these, you see how this would fit a gift card and some candy if you were going to do Menards or something for someone who loves. This would be a great birthday thing or a little wrap for anyone who likes tools. And uh, yeah, for treats to have on hand. This, um Oh, Paper Prairie made these for Bible okay. study ladies for Christmas. See, it's oh, perfect. Yeah, it's crooked. Okay, it's notice good. that this is crooked, but does it matter? No, you're just going to push that down. Okay. It doesn't matter at all. Put, okay. your, put your top down and no one will ever know. It is, oh, so that's where designers use paper is just so perfect. It's forgiving. Yes, it's very forgiving. Now, I wanted to point out, this one is pretty straight. I made a little one like, look how bad this is. If you notice, Tim's isn't totally meeting here. If you were going to be a perfectionist, you'd want this to meet here. Look at mine. How off is this? This was just my experiment. Whoa. I was playing with things. But I thought, you know what? That's still cute. I'd still use that because it looks meant to be that way. So here's what I love about you don't need to measure because it really just doesn't matter. It's just this fun little wrap. Sandy made 35 of these for school treat holders for, for teachers and put suckers in for the kids and how, how fun. So I just think this is such a cool idea. So now we're going to do a 12 by 12. So the real idea behind here would be if we're doing this for a crafter. Uh, well, it'd be for anyone to put things. I put in a whole bunch of accessories. This one would be full of candy. Oh, that's right. Oh, Tim, I thought you <laughs> But it's all the same. So isn't that fun? I have to stand up a little and try yes. to get an idea of what that plaid is so screwy. It just kind of has me off because it's off, but that's okay. But is this a great size? Mm -hmm. I think this is a fabulous size. I think you did a good job of finding your center. Oh, we'll see. That Ooh. worked. Look at that. So in here, today we're going to put a bunch of candy. But you can see, let's say this was for crafter. Now I'd put a thing... You could decorate it and say something about being for you, but you could put in a bunch of accessories in here. And wouldn't that be a fun gift to give? So, uh, Tim, forgiving and forgetting, spell it. Oh, I, I, I missed something on there. So I said, I love that so many of you have made these. And I love that a lot of you haven't. And that just totally fits what we're talking about, how ideas, they come round and round again, and they... Um, and they're always just new and fresh when you use new paper. And it's just very fun to, um, to be on this journey together. It doesn't matter if you're brand new or if you've been around and you've made these like five different times in your life. Like me? Uh-huh. No. no. <laughs> like once. Today for the no, first I've time. I've done it more than once. Uh, have you? Okay. I so you remember this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, and I couldn't find it. It's really funny because someone said, do you have a video on how to make these? And I went and looked because I could I... And I'm sure I made them as one of, like on a treat package video, but I couldn't find one with just this. So I thought this would be the perfect we'll little event to do because we can just do this while while we're here traveling. So anyway, I just love this. I love that all ideas are fresh again and that we crafters can make fun, simple little things with hardly any effort at all. So thanks, guys. You have a wonderful Valentine's Day. 
And remember, that'll be the All Good Cars Club. Anything else that we needed to say? That I love you. <laughs> Happy Valentine's, everyone. And tell us your Valentine's stories. Yes, yeah, so we've been enjoying the sun and we've just been enjoying seeing people and we're going to have fun with the grandkids now these next few days. And then we'll be back on a regular schedule. So actually Monday, I'm probably not doing chatting over cards because they leave on Tuesday. So, uh, so, but we'll put up a, a notice about that. But thanks everyone. But I'm so available if you have questions. So let me know and just know how much we appreciate you guys. And we love all your stories. We just love that. We do. Happy Valentine's Day.